I'm going to say this right now. This has been one of the hardest videos to shoot I've ever done. The reason for that is we did all of our intro stuff for this video that you're about to look at on my mobile phone because it's easier in the car. That's where I was doing most of the intro work was in the car. So all the talking I did in there, gone. My phone became a brick about nine o'clock Saturday morning when we went to go get the car. You'll note that I have Cam in this video in an auto rest mod shirt. I forgot to warn him that he needed to wear a mechanic shirt, which is a little bit of <clears throat> cross promotion for our other show. Unintentional, but there. So what you're about to see is most of what we got. I'm not gonna not do this because a lot of it is still there. The part where I talk about what you need to take to go pick up a car like this pig back behind me that we are affectionately calling Battle Scarred Galactica. All you sci-fi geeks will know where that comes from. All right, so there you go. We're gonna start it off right now. <laughs> Restoration of a classic Ford is a journey of discovery. Let Autocrafters help you with yours. We offer quality parts for Falcon, Fairlane, F-Series, Galaxy, Maverick, and Pinto. Contact us today. All right, today we're gonna go get the 63 Galaxy 500 from my friend John's place. We are gonna bring it back here and we're gonna start working on it. We've had a lot of guys complain about us not doing anything on that car lately. And it's one of those things where quite frankly, we had to get the building done. We had a lot of things to finish up here, but the other part of it is out of sight is out of mind. All right, so I got everything on the table here that I'm gonna be taking with me when I go to pick up the 63 Galaxy. Uh, the straps that are in the top here are some extras that I got from, uh, from a friend of mine. I doubt very seriously if I'll need these. These are truck straps, so they're pretty heavy duty and pretty large. I have my trailer towing straps underneath them. I have some chain in here. I have straps enough to get a car home. I've got three sets of straps. Uh, you have to be careful when you're borrowing a trailer to make sure that the type of hook that you have on here will work with the trailer that you're borrowing. A lot of times I've found that you can get different strap ends on these that are like a, a regular J hook that's a flat J hook, which works great in some instances, but in other instances it doesn't. This works much better with any D rings that may be on the trailer. So I typically like these kind of straps better because they're a little bit more uh, useful in general. I always have some logging chain with me. You just never know. Now I'm gonna move down here to my bag and kind of go over what's in the bag. All right, now the bag is gonna contain pretty much some of the things that we have here on the table. This is my old go-to bag for salvage yard work. Uh, and I have a various small amount of tools. I always bring a 3 8 ratchet with a couple of extensions. I like this swivel head ratchet because you just never know what you're gonna be needing uh, when you're doing this kind of stuff. And I like for it to be a little bit longer so you can get a little bit more torque on it if you're having a problem getting the bolt to come undone. I will not be using this to try to take wheels off because I'm having a feeling we're gonna probably need to do that I'll go over that in just a second. But all the stuff that's on the table I'm taking. For instance, I've got a full brace of sockets that we're taking with us. Now this gets me any of the wheel stud setups that are out there. This is gonna get me right in the house with where I need to be for that. Um, because people can go in and change the actual lugs on these cars. And you may have the correct size lug on the car, but somebody may have gone in and put something like maybe say a three quarter on a car that's supposed to be an 11 16th. So they may have gone in and put a, uh, an 11 16th on a, whatever. This covers everything from five eighths all the way out to seven eighths. I've got all my big end stuff on here. I also have an extension because I find that if you don't have an extension, you're probably not gonna be having as much fun trying to take these or take the wheels off if you need to change them out. And I have our big snap-on Big Bertha. This bad boy will knock anything loose as far as lug nuts are concerned. Make sure if you do something like this that you have a fresh battery in this sucker because if you don't, you get out there and you may be using the 3.8s to take everything apart and you will become a grumpy individual. This goes in the bag as well. The next thing that goes in the bag is a big-ass hammer. And you may wonder, why am I carrying a big-ass hammer? The reason for this is, let's say the car won't roll. 
If I need to, I can get up underneath the car, jack it up a little bit, whack on the brake drums on the back side, and possibly break them loose from their forever hold on the shoes. Sometimes that does happen. I've actually seen it where guys have just drugged the car out of wherever it's at with the tires squealing in protest because they're very happy to be stuck in that garage. Finally, we have the jack. Got to have a jack. If you're going to do this kind of stuff, jack is very important to uh, being able to get up underneath the car, do anything you might need to do, uh, putting straps on, whatever. Always bring a jack with you when you go to pick a car up. You never know what you might need. Finally, the last thing I'm going to talk about, and I don't have any of that stuff up here on the table, is a set of wheels and tires. I at least take two extra tires for the type of car we're going to go get. If you have a Mopar, Ford wheels will work. If you have a, a Ford, Mopar wheels will work. But you want the correct bolt pattern for your particular car that you're going to go get. On a Galaxy 500, a nice 14 inch with a very small narrow tire is a good idea because the rear wheel wells on those things are an absolute bear to get a tire in if you're going and trying to bring something that's a really big fat meat to get it out of wherever you're going. If you can at all do it, I recommend taking four tires, but two usually will suffice. Also, last thing that you can bring in an emergency is either a small inflator like you would use on a passenger car to go somewhere, like you always keep the emergency inflators inside your car, or you can bring a small, uh, one of the small donut style uh, compressors like the one I'm showing you right now, like the little Craftsman we just bought recently. It'll be enough to get the tires inflated to possibly get it up on the trailer. That's what we're hoping for. But if we don't have electricity available to us, that thing won't do us any good at all. And I haven't heard back from the guy where the car is sitting, so we probably won't have electricity, so we'll, <clears throat> we'll probably be putting tires on it. So I'm gonna go and get the trailer uh, from my friend Pat, who you've seen his 55 Chevy on the show. We're gonna do that tomorrow morning at um, seven o'clock. Andrew won't be there. He's just, he's not gonna make it. Andrew will be sleeping. He likes to sleep. So anyway, off and to it. Travel, learn, I'm loved and I'm loved, yet still I am the same. I passed an empty chapel, I was far from the warm glow inside. Something out there for me, baby, and I know my time is dear.
Well, it's back down to just you and me again. Yes. <laughs> Uh, at least it went on pretty easy. I, I'm actually pretty darn shocked by what happened. I, I figured we would be fighting. I brought the tools. I mean, even yeah. talked about them yesterday. You know, the little video talking about the tools I always bring when I'm doing this. You just don't know. Yeah. You could have a locked up drum, and sometimes you get on the back side of the drum and, Smack and kick it, it with loose. a hammer. It works sometimes. Take the wheel off sometimes. You can you can whack the front of them. It didn't do that. I mean, no, and no. I, honestly, a lot of that's probably because it's been sitting on concrete yeah. all this time. Yeah. Nice thing is the floor pan's still here. <laughs> The remnants of it. <laughs> That's the window crank because there's a big hole in the floor, so it just fell out when I shut the door one time, I guess. Weight reduction. It's going to need it, too. That thing's heavy. <laughs> that thing is real heavy. That suburban going to be squatting on the way. <laughs> I'll get pulled over for squat. I don't even yeah. like squatted trucks, and I'll get pulled over get for being squatted. get all interior pieces ordered. <laughs> Looks like the inside of Julianne's car. <laughs> <laughs> a little troll doll in that. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, I liked what you did with the straps. Mm -hmm. I thought easy, that was easy. pretty cool. Facebook, so basically, Instagram for the win. Yeah, I tried it, tried it the other day, rode from Spartansburg doing 90 just fine, so. I like that. I mean, I used to do all kind of crazy stuff with. Uh, I normally do zip ties. Zip ties. Uh, I'll just get a bag, $1 bag of zip ties and a pair of dykes, just zip tie it up 100 miles. I'll do, miles. actually, what I typically will do is I'll kind of do what they did. I'll roll them up like that, but I'll use a bungee cord to tie yeah. them down. But that can heavily backfire yes. on you because it'll the bungee smack comes, you in the hand. Or yeah. the bungee comes off and then you have a nice 50 foot long flag behind you. <laughs> it keeps people away from your back. Yeah, true. Until <laughs> you run over with a tire. Or a trucker goes, ha, 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 It takes everything out. Oh, well, um, that actually, like I said, that went pretty well. I mean, we're not going to give you a, a full on. We normally like, I'm going to be honest with you, Cam and I normally would not do a double strap on the front going as, as far as we're going. But for safety's sake, you should do what we did here. You can do a single strap on the back and a double strap on the front. You should be good to go. Plus, we have the winch still under tension. So, but the dry, tires are rather dry rotted. The tires are dry rotted. We can't shift it out of neutral because the shifter is completely kaput. We're going to have to get with somebody and get the shifter redone or just find another old four-speed shifter to throw in there. Uh, lots of things are going to be happening on this car in the future. We did have guys asking. That's one of the reasons I wanted to go ahead and come get it today because we have had a lot of guys saying, hey, what's going on with mm -hmm. the Galaxy? That's what's going on with the Galaxy. Now i got to get this thing back to the shop and figure out just exactly where we're going to put it to Do you put have it. a spot enough big enough? <laughs> well, we, <laughs> it does have its own postal code. Yes. <laughs> um, we got places to put it. But it's like, it bums me out because I would like for it to be on concrete, but we're out of concrete. Because yeah. I don't want to leave it up on the pad because we can't move it. Yep. And the Camaro is where I would normally have slotted this thing on the pad. Yeah, it should probably go in the building and all the way in the back, under cover at least. Then we, I mean, let's face it, that's three quarters of our building lost. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so I don't know if I can at do that. At least you won't have to worry about the kids dinging this one. That, no, I mean, if they hit it with a lawnmower, I'll be like, uh, where? Yeah. I don't even see it. Um, we've got the running shed in the back, which is one of where I originally was going to put it, but right now Jack's boat is in there because yeah. we're having the upholstery redone in his boat. No, I'm not going to start doing boat videos, so don't get your, your <laughs> appetites whetted for that, okay? Auto marine mod. <laughs> Last thing you want to see is me in a yeah, Speedo. No. I'm good. <laughs> or anybody in a Speedo in this group for that matter. Yep. Logan's probably the only one that can wear the Speedo with somewhat of a bit yeah, of a Yeah, that wouldn't be child stuff now. So no, he's 17. Yeah. Well, we uh, have to wait. We gotta yeah, wait another year. Maybe. <laughs> so, you know, we can put him in a Speedo. If you want to see Logan in a Speedo, I'm gonna worry about you. Let's just put it that way. It's gonna be his 18th video for Patreons. <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> and we can make fun of him because none of them are here today. Yeah. Just Cam and I. Yeah. All right, well, that's it, folks. That's all we got for this week. I'm not going to show you the, I mean, my phone died. We've had no end of other kind of problems. I guess that's where all the problems went today. Yeah. They went to the phone. It, it rolled good, so now, it, now the rest of your day's screwed. <laughs> going to have two blowouts on the way home. <laughs> stop. You stop, because I will. I can't call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a phone. Yeah, I'm your own. <laughs> I'm on my own now. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, what I wanted to do is just to tell you guys, go ahead and check out the Patreon account. You'll see a list going up either by me over here, or maybe it's covering Cam up right now. I don't know where we're putting it, because Andrew, he'll put it wherever he wants it to be. So anyway, these are the guys that put their money where their mouth is. They support the show on a financial level. 
and we appreciate folks doing that. It helps us to be able to pay the kids, pay Andrew, get him the rehab that he needs. <laughs> Just won't let me know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Oh, so he's not here. He's not here. He deserves it. Hell, you know. I, I, I told him eight o'clock this morning. His eyes went wide. Like you can see his eyes going wide through text. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I told him yesterday because he came in and edited something yesterday. He's got a puppy dog coming in the shot here. Um, so I told him. I said, you know, blah blah blah. He goes, oh. I was like, nah, don't worry. I, I'm, we'll take care. Of it. <laughs> and then the numbers started to dwindle from mm -hmm. there. It's kind of like going over the top in World War One as the lieutenant. Come on, guys, with me! And you realize you're, you're, the, only, you're the only one running out across the, the craters and stuff. At least I look cool. At least, yeah, I look cool. I've got my little <laughs> Webley. I'm going at it. Man, we've lost track of yeah. <laughs> Um. So also, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. We have, uh, we have got to get there. I want that plaque to put on the little Paul wall to put on the big OSB. Building is coming along fantastically. We're gonna be putting a couple of videos up on that here pretty soon. So look for that coming out on a separate thing. And I guess that's really it. Yeah, well, I get to have a fun ride home. And I was gonna video it, but you know what? I can't, because yeah. I don't have my phone. We decided we don't want to use these cameras that we use for shooting this stuff in the car because it's just yeah, it shakes it's too, so bad, too, too shaky. So we're just going to button it up and I'm going to head home and uh, maybe shoot some stuff there, but I may just let that dog sleep for a little bit and then uh, take it off the trailer later. I want to see if there's a used tire salesman around Oh, I got here. tires. We got about okay. five million yeah. tires. We got some of your old tires there, so yeah. we're good to go on that. <laughs> Anyway, you guys love each other, like each other, treat each other nice. We'll see you on down the road. Yeah, so you're auto rest of my shirt. He wears auto rest of my shirt today, so we're cross promoting. <laughs> I'm confused. I identify as auto rest of mod today. <laughs> I identify as a bust.